Welcome to TPM Vids Disney Beat, where we talk about all things Disney. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified when we upload a new video. We also have Instagram and Twitter. You can find us at TPM Videos. Audio animatronics can be found on many of the rides and attractions at the Disney theme parks. We've talked about the must-see animatronics at both Walt Disney World and Disneyland, but there's a lot of Disney animatronic figures that have a history beyond their current attractions. And who better to help me discuss some Disney history than Disney Dan? What's going on, Disney fans? That's right! Many animatronics in the attractions at Walt Disney World and Disneyland are recycled and repurposed from old, extinct attractions at the parks. And it makes a lot of sense for Disney to recycle these animatronics, since these robotic figures do cost a lot to produce. Why keep an old animatronic in storage if it's still in good condition and can be used for something new? Exactly! So today along with my co-host Disney Dan, we're going to be looking through some Disney ride history and counting down the top 10 recycled animatronics at the Disney theme parks. Number 10. Sebastian When Ariel passes by on her float in Festival of Fantasy at Magic Kingdom, over 15 years of parade history lives on the float. The Spectral Magic Parade was a fan favorite, and the Sebastian animatronic leading the Little Mermaid float in Festival of Fantasy used to be on the Little Mermaid float in Spectral Magic. When the nighttime parade returned for its 2001 run, Sebastian was one of the additions made to the parade, which was actually just a duplicate figure of the Sebastian animatronic that was currently on the float in the Magical Moments Parade. This wasn't the exact same figure used in Spectral Magic, since Magical Moments closed in September of 2001, while Spectral Magic reopened six months earlier in March. When details were released on Festival of Fantasy, it was really exciting knowing that a piece of Spectral Magic would still live on in this brand new Magic Kingdom parade. Number 9. The Teddy Bear Honey Pot for many fans, 2001 was a sad time in Disneyland when they shut down the Country Bear Jamboree and replaced it with a brand new Winnie the Pooh Dark Ride. Now, it's a well-known bit of trivia that the three wall-mounted animal head characters Buff, Max, and Melvin are hidden in the ride just after the Heffalump and Woozle scene high above your head. But what you might not know is that Teddy Bera also makes an appearance in the ride. Or, well, at least her swing does. The mechanics that lowered Teddy into the Country Bear Theater were actually repurposed into the Pooh Bear Hot Air Balloon animatronic. So the next time you pass through the heffalumps and woozle scene of the Winnie the Pooh ride in Disneyland, remember the original bear that once rode the mechanics of that hot air balloon. Number 8. The Droids of Star Tours as you pass through the queue of Disneyland Star Tours, you're entertained by many animatronic characters. Two of these characters in the second queue room are the droids G290 and G240, and they actually had past lives as a certain feathered animal from an extinct Tomorrowland attraction. America Sings opened in June of 1974 and was a rotating theater attraction like Carousel of Progress. It featured a cast of animatronic animals singing the songs of various time periods in American history. At some point in mid to late 1986, people began to notice a couple of the geese animatronics in the show were missing. Well, shortly after Star Tours Soft opened in December of 1986, it was clear where the animatronic geese went. In an interview with creative executive of Disney Imagineering Tom Fitzgerald on EnderExpress.net, he said that work on Star Tours moved very quickly, and they were just creating things as they went along. He confirmed that when they decided they needed droids for the queue, they went into the America Sings attraction one night and just took two birds out of the show. The figures were stripped of their feathers, leaving just the robotic mechanics exposed. And with some added dressings, they created these brand new droid characters. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it tight. The G and the droid's names were also used to reference their past lives as geese in America Sings. And to this day, they still have their webbed feet. Number 7. Buffaloes of the Land the Living with the Land attraction at Epcot is a fan favorite and has been since the attraction opened in 1982. The ride features videos, live greenhouse demonstrations, and a few scenes of America's farmlands, including some animatronics of a buffalo and prairie dogs. 
these animal animatronics weren't always intended for the Living with the Land ride. Instead, they were originally developed for a brand new ride in the Magic Kingdom called the Western River Expedition. A similar layout to the Jungle Cruise, guests would board a boat and take a ride through the deserted west, encountering all sorts of animals and rugged landscapes. Imagineers were well into developing this ride, to the point where some animatronics had already been completed. But when the concept was eventually scrapped, and the land was developed into other attractions like Splash Mountain and Big Thunder, the animatronics were recycled into the Living with the Land attraction, where they can still be found today. Number 6. The Redhead in March of 2018, the redhead character on Pirates of the Caribbean at Magic Kingdom was replaced by a new animatronic figure in a newly imagined scene. Well, as soon as the ride reopened after its refurbishment, there was a lot of fan speculation that the redhead was actually Jane from the now extinct great movie ride at Hollywood Studios. When you look at both of their faces, there's no denying they are very, very similar. So this could be true. But the only problem is that the Jane animatronic was a fairly limited motion figure, whereas the redhead has a much wider range of movement. If you remember back to the Wizard of Oz scene in The Great Movie Ride, there was that impressive A100 figure of the Wicked Witch. And at the time when Disney was reimagining Pirates of the Caribbean, the Wicked Witch animatronic was most likely sitting in central shops at Walt Disney World. So my theory is that Disney used the same face mold from Jane to create the new mask, and then used the body of the Wicked Witch animatronic on the new redhead figure. Now this one hasn't been confirmed by any insiders or by Disney themselves, and is just purely speculation. But the timing works out really, really well. So what's your opinion? Do you think the redhead was actually recycled? Leave a comment down below. Number 5. The Repurposed Animals of Splash Mountain After 14 years of entertaining guests, the America Sings attraction that was mentioned earlier in this video finally closed in April of 1988. And while the theater building for America Sings sat vacant for some time, the animatronic cast of Critters were immediately repurposed into a brand new e-ticket attraction being built on the opposite side of Disneyland. Splash Mountain, which would open in July of 1989, would recycle most of the characters from America Sings in their original unchanged form thanks to the fact that America Sings and Song of the South, the cartoon to which Splash Mountain was based on, were both in part created by the same artist Mark Davis. His distinct style allowed for the host of characters to be pulled right out of one attraction and planted into another. And while many of the characters could be fit into the story from the lily pad frogs to the singing fishing geese or the suspicious vultures as you climb to the big top drop, some characters that didn't really fit into the plot were simply slapped onto the showboat at the end of the attraction, all dancing and singing zippity doo dah. <laughs> Number 4. The Three Caballeros One of the three water-based dark rides at Epcot is the Grand Fiesta Tour. The ride's finale features the Three Caballeros performing on their world tour, but these birds of a feather animatronics actually went on a real world tour. They date all the way back to the opening of Walt Disney World's Magic Kingdom in 1971, where they were found in the Mickey Mouse Review. This animatronic show closed in September of 1980 at Magic Kingdom, then was sent to Tokyo Disneyland where the same show ran from April of 1983 until May of 2009. After the attraction closed in Tokyo, the Three Caballeros animatronics went full circle and were sent back to Florida. They were eventually added to the finale of the Grand Fiesta Tour in December of 2015 replacing the original screens that opened with the ride in 2007. These animatronics are a perfect example of plussing an existing attraction while also paying tribute to an extinct attraction at the resort. Number 3. The Reskinned Animatronics of Splash Mountain while nearly all of America Sings animatronics made their way over to the new e-ticket water ride Splash Mountain, not all of them look like their original characters. Some of the more popular and recognizable characters from the original show, like Sam Eagle and Ollie Owl, were stripped down to their bare mechanical shells and reskinned into brand new characters for the plot of the ride. Sam Eagle's tall, wider build translated perfectly into the host of Br'er Fox animatronics needed for the attraction while Ollie Owl's tiny frame made for a perfect Br'er Rabbit. 
Even some of the pre-programmed movements in the body seem remarkably similar between the old and new characters using the same old original frames. Number 2. Celebrity Agents Under the yellow suits of the CDA agents in Monsters, Inc. Mike and Sully to the Rescue at Disney California Adventure, a lot of these figures are actually recycled from the previous attraction. Superstar Limo was an opening day attraction in 2001 and featured caricature-style animatronics of famous celebrities along your slow-moving journey through Hollywood. The animatronics were very basic, limited-motion figures, and the ride was lackluster to say the least. So Superstar Limo closed its doors in January of 2002, less than one year after it opened. Well, fast forward to January of 2006, when Mike and Sully to the rescue eventually replaced Superstar Limo, and many of the famous celebrities were turned into the ride CDA agents. Agent 12200 on the left used to be Tim Allen, the agent on top of the CDA truck was Jackie Chan, the agent straight ahead with the brochures was Drew Carey, and this agent at the end of the ride being interviewed used to be Whoopi Goldberg. Number 1. The Five Dwarfs Riding the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train roller coaster at Magic Kingdom gives you the chance to check out some of the coolest, most high-tech animatronics in the park as you slowly pass through the gem mines surrounded by all the colorful animated dwarfs. But not all the animatronics on this ride are new or high-tech. When Snow White's Scary Adventures closed in 2012, most of the animatronics and set dressings were disposed of, except for a handful of characters that were repurposed into the new ride. First, the set of vultures spotted in the spooky forest found a new home on top of the mining bucket pulley poles as you go up the lift hill. These classic birds were given a fresh paint job and no longer move, but there is no denying that they are the same animatronics. The more noticeable recycled characters are found at the end of the ride, as your minecart slows before exiting the attraction. If you look to your right, you'll notice a big window looking to the Seven Dwarfs Cottage. Inside, you'll see Snow White dancing with the dwarves as they play with their various instruments. All of these animatronics, except for Dopey and Sneezy, were pulled directly from the old Snow White scary adventure scene, where Snow White discovers the home and the dwarves put on a show and dance. So, there you have it. I just want to say a big thank you to Disney Dan for being my co-host on this video. Thanks for letting me be your co-host, TPM. I really, really love this topic. I was so thrilled to find out that you were researching at the same time as me and the Disney magic kind of aligned and we were able to collaborate on this video. I think it's awesome. Love your channel. I love your fans. Thanks so much for letting me be a part of this collaboration. And everyone, as always, you rock. If you aren't familiar with Disney Dan, be sure to check out his channel and subscribe. He has some really awesome videos of the evolution of Disney characters in the theme parks. You can find Dan's channel in the card in the right hand side or in the description below. So, what's your favorite recycled animatronic from the Disney theme parks? Were you surprised with any of these animatronics being recycled and reused? Leave a comment down below to start a conversation, and don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. If you have any videos from the Disney parks that you'd like to share with us to be used in future videos, follow the link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching! Click the TPM icon on the screen to subscribe to this channel, and check out some of these other videos which we're sure you'll like.